This morning we arrived in St. Bart's. It's the first port on this trip that we've had to use the tenders as there's not a pier that will accommodate our cruise ship. Even I found this map that includes many of the islands we visited. And here is St. Bart's. This island had not been settled by the natives due to a lack of water. The first settlers were the French in 1648. It was economically unsuccessful, so King Louis XVI traded it to Sweden in 1784. They named the capital for their king Gustav III, Gustavia. Again, unsuccessful, Sweden sold it back to France in 1878. Then tourism took off in the 1960s and has become renowned as a high-class luxury destination. On major form of transportation around here appears to be motorcycle. Here's a motorcycle parking lot right behind me. Or scooters. <coughs> suppose that was a warehouse a couple hundred years ago. It was a ruin, but in 2007 it was renovated and today is a museum. And up there, I think there was a port at one time. Carl was built by the Swedes in the late 18th century for protection from pirates and other hostels. Today it's in ruins, but there are good views up there though. And looking at a lot of expensive yachts parked along here and out in the bay. There go a couple of our tenders. Oh, there's our ship way out there beyond that rock. The big ships can't even get here, so that's nice. On the big rock, we, we, we will see the coral reef. It's not the prettiest, I know you will tell me that, blah, 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 blah. Okay? The first. The second stop will be the coral farm. We have a French associa association that decided to have the corals. As you know, we have a lot of hurricanes. They cannot destroy the corals. So we try to, to clean them, to cure them. And you will see we have some coral trees. It's literally some trees. We have a shipwreck that sunk in 1995. Sea turtles. I love to call it like that because between between the boats, in the bottom, it's full of seaweed. So that's why we have a lot of sea turtles. And you have fish like that. Stu and a few other people stayed on deck. The rest of us are down here looking out the windows. So far we've seen one ray. Don't know if it was a manta ray, but it was some sort of a ray. I think we're slowing down at our first stop. There is some coral down there and a few fish swimming by. A few more fish in here. They turned around so that both sides get to see the reef. The yellow is uh, fire coral. We have pirate fish on the back of their rainbow colors. Wow, wow. Yes. big school of fish. Wow. Hundreds. Thousands. Oh, <laughs> and we got some snorkelers up there on the surface. Coral farm. I told you. Coral farm. What is the story? After after Hurricane Irma, 80% of the corals were destroyed. Only at night. Why? Because the corals need the light to grow up. We don't want to disturb them. So we go at night, we take the broken corals in the bottom, we cure them, we clean them from the sun. I told you about the sunscreen. You, you see there is some seagrass, some pollution in the coral. And the fishes eat the corals. So thanks to these trees, the fishes are getting healthier. 
because the bigger ones we eat the small ones, etc., etc. Because they are always here. Oh my! Look at all the fish. I just to her a day There's a ship there. that sunk here in 1995. Okay, now we're over the ship, and there's a lot of big fish. It's hard to see, but there is a ship down there.